Hey everybody, KWG here. So I realized in my last video that there were a couple things that I kind of left out and, and people were actually curious about the things that I left out. So we're going to get into it. So first things first, when it comes to the NGS body, whether or not you're playing male or female, there's certain body paint that you can use on both male and female, such as the thigh highs or anything of the sort. While there are in fact certain body paints that are specifically designed for the female character. Now, the next thing that we're going to be going over is cast parts. Now, this is something that I completely misunderstood the last time that I went through the character creation because I didn't have enough cast parts in my inventory to be able to fully confirm this and or even experiment with it in the first place. So huge thanks to Falmong over in the comment section of my last video for correcting me on something that I was confirming, even though I realistically misunderstood the entire point of the question. So when playing as a cast in the original PS2 body type, if you were using a female cast body, you could only use cast female arms and legs from that body type as well. So to debunk something that I previously confirmed without even knowing, no, you cannot mix and match female and male cast body parts. The same thing goes for whether or not you're playing as a human character, you cannot put cast male or female arms on your character. This stands to reason that this same method is going to transfer over into new Genesis. So you can pretty much start to expect what you're going to be looking at when it comes to being a cast. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, the only thing you really have to note is that your head style or your face style as a cast is usable on every body type. So cast hairstyles, whether it be male or female are able to be used on every body type and cast face types, whether male or female are able to be used on every body type as well. The other cool thing about when it comes to painting a cast is you actually have a little bit more degree on which parts you can actually color. So by going into the color part settings, you can actually go into the four sub colors that you're able to then recolor as opposed to what you were able to do before. So yeah, this is just a quick video just to get some of the things that I missed in the last one out of the way. And as always, thank you guys again for not only correcting me when I'm wrong, but for watching another one of my videos. So guys, thank you guys again, as always. Stay awesome, stay beautiful. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, I'm out.